Well, it's that time of the year again, and if this is your first Christmas with cats, you're gonna wanna take notes. Basically, everything about Christmas is a hazard for cats. Christmas trees, decorations, food, flowers, tinsel, lights, candles, ribbon, etc. But do not fear. Cats don't need to ruin the Christmas cheer. Today, I'm going to share easy tips, tricks, and information that'll keep the cats at bay and the Christmas spirit in full sleigh. Along with some Christmas cat proofing tips, I'm going to go over some Christmas dangers for cats that you need to keep in mind when preparing for the festivities. Before we get into the good stuff, if you're a curious cat owner and you want to learn more about cats and their needs, please hit that subscribe button and join our cat community to learn more about cats and how you can be the best cat owner you can be. Remember to turn on the bell and catch us every Monday with new cat care content. This information has been fact-checked and vet-approved by our in-house veterinarian, Dr. Paula Cuevas. Let's begin with the holy grail of Christmas, the tree. I know many people won't settle for anything less than a real eight-foot freshly cut tree from the lush forests of North America, but let's face it. If you have a real tree in your house, your cat is 100% going to try to climb it. They just won't be able to resist the outdoor smell, the scratchable bark and all the new hiding spots. Now there are many ways in which you can deter your cat from the tree, including cat deterrent sprays, barricading it with chicken wire or even clear paneling and covering the bottom with carpets, tinfoil or orange peels. However, the number one best way you can deter your cat from your Christmas tree is by not using a real Christmas tree. There, I said it, it's out. Please don't come for me in the comments. Here are just some of the many dangers that real Christmas trees pose to cats. Toxic terpenes, sharp needles, oils and sap, fertilizers, and harmful water. Bacteria can grow in the excess water that gets collected from the pot plants, and this could be harmful for your cat. Not to mention the effects of real Christmas trees on our environment. It's estimated that around 33 to 36 million Christmas trees are produced and cut down in the US every single year. And in Europe, it's around 30 to 50 million trees. This leads to large scale deforestation and CO2 emissions every single year. And it's something that can be completely avoided by using artificial trees and tree alternatives. There are some really interesting and creative ideas on the internet. However, cats are still, well, cats, and even an artificial tree won't stand a chance against our curious and relentless cat friends. This time, it's not the tree itself, but the dangling decorations and flickering lights that draw them in. Here are some dangerous decorations to look out for. Tinsel, glass decorations, low-hanging baubles, electric cords, yarn and ribbon, chocolate and candy, candles, snow globes, and small choking hazards. There are so many creative and questionable ways in which people try to protect their trees. While I wait for the ambulance to pass, let me take this time to ask you guys to please subscribe if you enjoy our content, like cats, and wanna learn more about them. As you probably already know, it really helps our content grow and reach the right people so we can help more cats and cat owners around the world. There are many creative and questionable ways in which people attempt to protect their trees from peeping paws and killer claws. But there's only one method that I personally use every single year. It's affordable, easy to make, naturally cat deterrent, and it doesn't look odd or out of place on your tree. Dried citrus decorations. It's really simple to make. All you need is a couple of citrus fruits, cut them into wheels, pop them in the oven to dry out, pop a string through, and there you go. It looks neat and it keeps the cats away. You can also make a diluted citrus spray to spray around the Christmas tree and all the other areas you don't want your cat to go. Cats have a natural aversion to citrus, so it's the best method in my opinion. You can also even tie some rosemary and lavender around your tree, as this is also a naturally deterring smell for cats. Let's move on to toxic plants and flowers. Other than fir, spruce and pine trees, there are a couple of other flora that can pose a real threat to your pet. 
Feel free to pause and screenshot these images to keep them handy in the holiday season. Toxic flowers and plants include poinsettias, which are only mildly toxic, amaryllis, holly and mistletoe, lilies, daffodils, azaleas, ivy, Christmas cactus and Christmas roses. Generally, cats shouldn't ingest any sort of human foods. There are some foods that can be okay in moderation, but there are some foods that is a total no for your cat and it can cause serious harm or even fatalities. The following foods should never be fed to cats or accidentally found by them on the floor. Garlic and onions, leeks, chives, chocolate, dried fruits, such as raisins, sultanas, figs, and Christmas dishes that include them, like mince pies, fruitcakes, and Christmas puddings. Nuts, cheese, bones, and alcohol. As a small occasional treat, you can let your cat have some cooked meat with the fat, skin, and bones removed. Your cat likely won't be interested in vegetables, but things like broccoli, carrots, beans, peas, parsnip, and pumpkin are okay for cats in moderation. Potatoes and mash are also okay for cats in moderation, as long as there's absolutely no traces of seasoning like salt and pepper or garlic. It's best for cats to stick to formulated cat treats and pet food. Here are some other important things to take note of. Fireplaces and open candles are a risk with cats and especially kittens around. Make sure all candles are out of reach and blown out when not in use. Fireplaces need to be covered properly and put out after use. Make sure your Christmas tree is secured tightly to the neighboring walls and to the base of the tree. If your cat rebels through all the deterrents and catapults its way into your tree, you wouldn't want it to fall over and hurt your cat, your child, your grandpa, or anything below it for that matter. Also remove any and all cat trees and potential launching pads that are in too close proximity to the tree. Make sure electric cords, lights, dangling decorations, and any other kitty cat hazard is either enclosed or completely out of reach. Remember to dispose of any pieces of wrapping paper or ribbons or other small decorative items as this can be ingested by your cat. If you're hosting the Christmas party this year, don't force your cats to be part of the welcoming committee if they don't enjoy the hustle and bustle of a festive event. Let them retreat to a quiet, safe space if they choose to. Feel free to remind your guests that they don't need to pick up the cat when the cat doesn't want to be picked up and didn't come asking for attention. Just tell them to let them be, and if they come to you, then you can interact. Here's a quick note from our vet, Dr. Paula Cuevas. Remind your guests that feeding the cat is not allowed. It's safer to make the clear rule and announcement that cats should not be fed by anyone making special emphasis on explaining that bones and leftovers should not be offered to the cat either. Provide a designated container for that purpose and make sure it has a lid. You can also tell your guests that if anyone has a special interest in feeding the cats, then they can let you know. You can prepare a portioned meal of cat-safe pieces and let your friends offer it to your cat under your supervision. In this way, you ensure that your cat does not get fed anything dangerous and does not get overfed. Plus, it provides some social enrichment to your cat and entertaining moments for your guests on a special night. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Turn on the bell to catch us next Monday with some info about what to do with your cat when you go on vacation. And most importantly, may you and your loved ones furry or otherwise, have a very merry festive period. From all of us here at Excited Cats, thank you for watching and see you next time.